Let's just get straight to mm-hmm. it. You're 16 years old. Yes, I am. You've been Nala in The Lion King. I have. You're now in Little Fires with Kerry Washington and Reese Witherspoon. Yeah. How is <laughs> you, are you okay? <laughs> I'm good. I'm okay, fine. Good. As, okay. as of right now, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Lexi Underwood. Hi. Welcome to My Way. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy that you're here. So how long have you been a professional actor? I've been a professional actor for about five years now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been a journey. I did start off with like regional theater and then I worked my way up to Broadway and then now I'm here. It sounds like you are around some really inspiring and amazing women. Absolutely. Tell me about what it's like to work with Reese Witherspoon and Kerry Washington. It's They're been two a, such astounding women. Yeah, I mean, it's been a blessing. They're both so, I mean, so grounded and so down to earth. And honestly, just to be surrounded by those women was, like I said, truly a blessing. And also, we all of our executive producers and most of our writers were women as well. Mm-hmm. So we basically had an all-female crew. And so just to be around them and to be in that atmosphere was super empowering, especially because I also want to work behind the camera as well. So to see you know those two women at the helm of this incredible project telling the stories that they love to tell, um, but to also be like the leading ladies, it was super inspiring. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And can I ask about your experience of being a young black woman Mm -hmm. within this industry where you are still a minority? It's difficult. um, But I find that, you know, when we do have role models like Carrie and like Viola, who are just so comfortable in their skin, and even like Rihanna and Lizzo, and, you know, they're, they're killing the game right now. And I feel like it's... I don't know, it gives a word to young black girls in the industry that are trying to break out that, you know, if they can do it, if they can make it, then so can we. And is there anyone that you have now that you lean on for advice and support in this mm-hmm. industry? Uh, definitely Miss Carrie and also Regina King. Those are two relationships that I'm just, I'm, I'm honestly honored that I cultivated those. What is those Regina people. King like? I love her. Oh my God, she's like a true queen. Honestly, just being around her, I always feel like, I, I feel honored to be around her and to be mm. in her presence. What's been your best bit of advice from mm. someone like her or one of your mentors? Stay true to yourself mm-hmm. and don't let, don't listen to the critics and don't listen to what other people have to say on social media. Oh my God, stay outside. off social media. Jesus I'm, Christ, stay off yeah, social media. Yeah, I'm, I started <sighs> limiting my time on social media to one hour a day. Yeah. Uh, because it gets really hard sometimes when you're has it been has, has it been rough on you even? Yeah, it's been rough. I mean, I feel like it's been rough on everybody. When yeah. you're scrolling down your timeline and you see like the all American picture perfect beauty standard and, and you look in the mirror and you're like, I don't I don't look like that. But to social media and to the rest of the world, that's what's considered beautiful. It's super sh- it, like it's it's hard. And where do you stand on the way that you project yourself, like, on social media? I like to speak out about things that I'm passionate about. Um, You know, I'm super passionate about March for Our Lives and Black Lives Matter. And so as much as I can, I try and post and just try and get the word out there and do my duty um, with the small platform that I do have on social media. I was going to ask you if that's something you're going to do with the rest of your career because we noticed that you are already super outspoken and that's really cool. Mm -hmm. It's something that I definitely encourage in you as long as you mm-hmm. stay safe yeah. and don't always read the comments. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can tell you from experience. Yeah. <laughs> um, is this going to be a part of your career, using it as a platform to speak out about these subjects? Definitely. I've discussed with my friends back home. I'm super excited to talk about um, just the, the issue of gun violence that's happening in Washington, D.C. in general. When we talk about gun violence, I feel as though, you know, we talk about like Chicago and L.A. and New York, but we also have to remember like the smaller areas of the United States that are also being affected by gun violence every day. And so I hope that, you know, later on when I do get the platform to, to speak out about those things and also mental health. Mental health is a big thing that I've struggled with and that a lot of my friends have struggled with. So I hope that, you know, I'm able to, to reach out and... I love that you like, already recognize that and you already mm-hmm. feel comfortable talking about something like that on camera. Yeah. What kind of mental health struggles do you have? Do you mind me asking? Oh, yeah. Um, anxiety. I struggled with anxiety a lot. Um, it started around like the age of seven, I mm-hmm. believe. Um, it's always been, been a struggle. I've been, you know, super, super anxious, even in situations that I don't have to be. Um, I feel like it's gotten better over time. I'm, I'm very open about going to therapy. I've been going to therapy ever since I was like 12, and it honestly helps. It's, it's been the best decision I've ever made in my whole entire life. No, that's incredible. I also yeah. love that your parents were switched on enough Absolutely. to get you to that therapy, and I'm also mm-hmm. glad that you were able to have the privilege to access it. Yeah. And so 
Again, about gun violence, mm -hmm. how would you say it's affected you in your life? I live like down the street from um, this high school and I remember there was like a shooting at the high school that wasn't talked about on the news. You know, when we talk about school shootings, like there are school shootings that happen in Washington DC that nobody talks about. Why? I think it's because like politics, people see DC as just- The White like, House. The White House. And they see it as, you know, all these monuments and to just see it as like- As an outsider, area. as an outsider, yeah. that's totally how I see it. I see it as this super polished, super protected, privileged space. It's really not, um, you know, for politicians it is, but um, for us it's living, living in, especially like the bad areas like Southeast and Northeast, it's it's really not a, like a, a blast <laughs> to live in DC. Um, yeah, we're affected by gun violence every day. And I hope that, you know, I, I see a, a bunch of celebrities that are from DC that are, you know, speaking out about it, like Ari Lennox um, and Neil Long. It's it's super empowering to see them, you know, coming out about it. But I hope that it's an issue that, you know, more people start to talk about and that it comes to light even more. Yeah, I think the problem is also a government that kind of doesn't involve itself too much in gun reform. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the gun violence conversation mm -hmm. nowhere near as much as they should. No. Uh, they probably, in particular, don't want it reported mm -hmm. on happening on their doorstep. Which is terrible because they're, especially with uh, minorities, it's it happens to us like every single day. Like a bunch of black youth are being killed out in the streets in DC, and I don't, I don't know why why people don't talk about it as much as they talk about issues that are happening in like Chicago or, or LA or, or New York. And even that isn't anywhere near Talked as about widely as reported exactly. as like what celebrities are doing. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. what we hear exactly. more, which is the perfect reason, I guess, to use celebrity mm -hmm. to, to use this platform to talk have about these it. conversations. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm here if you ever need anything. Thank you and so much. And I is here, and it's Thank really you. cool that you are involving yourself within activism, mm -hmm. as long as you keep yourself safe, yeah. and you keep having therapy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>